Hey there, it's Elliot. Today, we're diving into a topic I know has been a real headache for many of you. That iPhone locked to owner message, or as it's officially known, the iCloud activation lock. This issue pops up on iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches, and it can be a natural barrier. You might have heard about various services, software, or methods that promise to bypass this lock, and I know it's tempting to try them out. But let me be upfront. Many of these solutions are reliable and can pose security risks to your device. Who wants to get tangled up in something that might be somewhat above board? But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I will show you a way better, safer, and completely free alternative that's quick and guaranteed to work. Please stick with me and let's get your device back in action without any hassles or risks. Let's jump right into it. This info is for use responsibly. It's for folks who own their device but need help remembering their login details. We're not here to help with illegal stuff, like getting into stolen devices. Always follow the law and respect others' rights. And our video sticks to YouTube's rules and community standards. All right, let's get going. A few services can help you with the iCloud activation lock issue. You've probably come across a bunch, but I want to highlight a few that stand out. Remember, this is all about getting you back into your device. First up, there's Safe Unlocks. It's pretty user-friendly and has helped many people in your shoes. Then there's Lock to Owner, which has been around for a bit and has a solid track record. Another one worth mentioning is iUnlock App. It's got some neat features that might just be what you're looking for. And lastly, there's Unlock Here, a powered unlocking web app, which, as the name suggests, uses some smart AI to get the job done. Now, a bit of backstory, why are these services even needed? Well, it's not uncommon to forget your access details, right? Maybe you set up your iCloud long ago and the password slipped your mind. Or perhaps you bought a second-hand device that's still linked to the previous owner's iCloud account. That's where these services come in handy. Remember, we're all about doing things correctly and keeping them educational. In our next step, we'll dive into using Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant, a pretty cool piece of tech. Stay tuned. These unlock services typically only work in first world countries. So, if you're somewhere where these services aren't accessible and would instead not use them, don't worry, we've got a backup plan for you. Every week, we're giving away 250 unlocks to our viewers. Yes, you heard that right. And here's how you can be one of those lucky folks. Just hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Drop a comment with your phone model like Samsung S9, your IMI number, and the country you're in. That's all you need to do. You're automatically entered into the draw when you complete these steps. So take advantage of this chance. Who knows, your device could be one we unlock this week. To unlock your mobile device using unlockhere.com, which is an AI assistant powered web app, start by opening your browser on your phone or computer. Once you're on the site, look for Nifty, the AI bot. Click on Activation Lock to let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock. Then, you can select whether you're unlocking an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Now, you need to enter your device's IMEI, or serial number. Here's a quick guide to understand the difference. iPhones always have an IMEI number. If you're unlocking an iPhone, use this number. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs if they include a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, but most iPads and Apple Watches only have a serial number. To find this, with your locked device, press the sleep button, press it again, and then tap on the I icon on the bottom right. This will show your device info. Once you've got your IMEI or serial number, remember to input this crucial information in the next step. You must also enter basic personal details to attach the order to your account. Make sure this information is accurate because you'll receive a confirmation code via email that you'll need to confirm. After entering your details, check the box agreeing to the terms, ensuring you're not unlocking a stolen device. You must complete a quick CAPTCHA to confirm you're not a robot and tap Start Process. Next, keep an eye on your email for a confirmation code. Sometimes, this email can land in your spam or junk folder, so be sure to check there as well. Please take this code, enter it back to the Unlock Here page, and input that here. Confirm once again that you're not a robot. Once you've done this, your unlock process is underway, and your device will soon be opened. As you can see here, 
we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Remember, this is just one way to unlock your device. We've got another method for those who prefer a different approach, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, let's explore alternative ways to remove iCloud activation lock. These are entirely legal so that you can breathe easily. This topic can be confusing, so I'm here to break it down for you in a simple, friendly way. We're not just skimming the surface, we're digging into those lesser known but super helpful methods that often get overlooked. First things first, contacting Apple support is your go-to move. Especially if you're the device's rightful owner but can't access it, they can be a big help if you have proof of purchase. And don't worry, it's more intimidating than it sounds. Just be honest and provide them with whatever they need. Now, if you've bought a second-hand device that's still linked to the previous owner's iCloud, reaching out to the seller is smart. It might feel awkward, but it's a straightforward solution. They can remove the device from their iCloud account, and voila, you're good to go. Another tip, which is a hidden gem, is using recovery mode. This works if you need to remember your Apple ID or password. Just put your device into recovery mode and reset it. Remember, this will erase your data, so it's like a last resort. And here's something that only a few people talk about. If you've got your device from a company or educational institution, contact their IT department. They usually have master access and can unlock it for you. We're all about providing real value here. Remember, there's always a way to solve these tech puzzles legally and efficiently. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and exploring these legal ways to unlock the iCloud activation lock. Stay tuned for more videos and remember, we're on this tech journey together.